until Japan is the underground's hidden gem. Now, I've been wanting to make a video on Japan for a pretty big minute now, and I'd say I've been tapped in with Japan's music, I'd say around the Dark Outside tape days, and I knew he was pretty hard back then, but he was never really my favorite artist out of the new underground. But definitely when I heard that Safe Travels album back in the fall, I was like, yo, this dude is out of here. He is so talented. There's so much actual substance within his music, especially at such an early stage within his career. You could even say this is just such an infant stage with his career. He put out an amazing tape. His sound feels so polished and he's actually putting out great quality music. He's just not another dude in the underground who's talking about money, drugs, clothes, cars, girls, etc. right? He's not putting out bullshit on a track for two minutes and 30 seconds, right? There's actual substance within his music. There's quality. He has a polished sound. And I think that speaks volumes. And I do think when it's all said and done, when this underground is settled, similar to like the 2021 wave, two to three years after that, we're gonna see who the star is. And I'm betting my money right now. I'm telling y'all, bro. I'm telling y'all right now. Y'all heard it from Money May back in 2024. Until Japan will be the biggest artist to come out of this new underground for a multitude of reasons, right? Which will we be getting into in this video, right? Like I said, he's just not another underground artist putting out BS on a track, right? There is so much substance and he makes quality music, right? And what I've noticed from his music is that he likes to paint a picture of being an up and coming artist and also paint the struggles and the successes that come from it, right? He speaks on his journey, you know, I'm going up, people all want to part of me. And what really hit me when I was listening to actually one of his latest songs, and that was Born To Be Great. He was speaking on his mom and how his mom, you know, feels within his music. At least that's what I got from this bar. And the bar goes as follows. I see you got a little money, honey. What you think that you big stuff now? That's what my mama told me. I swear to God, I ain't let a tear fall down. Woo! He said that, bro. I was like, damn, bro. That really hit because he's really speaking on how his mama feels about his music. And he's really speaking about his family. And, you know, he's really speaking on real life things of his struggles coming up as an artist. Trying to make a name for yourself. Trying to get out of Atlanta. Trying to get, you know, big. You know what I'm saying? Another bar that really hits me is I got fired from my job. I went back home and put my heart on instrumental. Yeah, yeah. If y'all got fired from a job and you're like, F this, I'm going to pursue my passions, then that bar definitely hits because you know exactly how Japan feels, right? But that's what I said. There is so much substance within his music. There's actual quality. He's not just talking about, I did three perks. I did X, Y, Z. I got this car. You know what I mean? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying, right? There's actual substance. And especially at such a small stage within an artist's career, it's really crazy to see. And you know, his name is pretty buzzing right now, obviously off that amazing project. And what I've noticed is, Everybody's just speaking high volumes of him. There's so much great things to be said about Japan. Like I've been seeing, you know, music industry pods and in big time A&Rs. And some people are asking like, yo, who do you really think is gonna come up? Who's your up next artist? All you're hearing is until Japan, Japan, until Japan, X, Y, Z, right? And then you even go to like to Twitter forums and you know, Twitter comments and the underground kids, right? Everybody's saying until Japan is the number one. And that's not for no BS reason, it's for good reason. And that's because this dude is gonna be a star, right? But I would also want to speak on what's hurting his career right now. At least what I believe what's hurting his career. And that's, bro, I don't even know what bro looks like. <laughs> there is no face reveal of Japan. There's like a slight picture from the Ounce music video, but you really can't see what bro looks like. And I think it helps him, but it also drastically hurts him as well, right? Because the type of vibes I get from Japan, you know, not showing his face, having such good music out there, and there being that whole mysterious factor, I kind of feel like he's in a similar state to that 2017 Nav. If y'all remember 2017 Nav, when he put out the self-titled album, everybody was going crazy over it. The SoundCloud Nav, everybody loved him, but nobody knew what he looks like, right? And then he teased himself in the Good For It music video. We thought there was gonna be a face reveal. There wasn't it. Similar to kind of how he kind of teased his face and what he looked like in the ounce music video but like i said it's definitely helping him because people are like where is japan japan makes such good music he's been ghost i don't know where he's been and i can't really speak for him but i do think it helps him slightly but let's face it this whole mysterious stuff this whole you know i'm in hiding i'm not gonna go on ig live i'm not even gonna post a fit pic like bro japan dropped an amazing project last year right 
Everybody was buzzing. I seen he was supposed to do a Homicide Gang show. He didn't pop out for that. He dropped a whole album. There's not been one music video for it. And I don't even know what bro looks like, right? There's no fit pics. He hasn't shown his style. He hasn't really created an aesthetic. He hasn't really created a world of Until Japan. I definitely do. He has slight hints of it with, you know, the helmet and, you know, the type of music video that he has with the ounce and obviously just the type of sound that he does create. But it definitely does hurt him because I think if Japan was just out there, everybody knew what he looks like. He's posting snippets. He's, you know, posting. You know, I'm, I'm not saying you got to post selfies every day and be like, go on IG Live and be like talking to your fans. But I'm saying, you know, be somewhat interactive. Have a face card, right? Your face card is so valuable in today's day and age as an artist. And honestly, like with artists creating worlds and aesthetics, like people even say today, your aesthetic as a rapper is up there and might be even greater than the music itself. You can have hard fix, you can have a dope aesthetic and you're gonna blow up, right? But if you actually have great music, great quality music at such a young stage in your career, and then you have a dope face card, dope fits, that world of Until Japan is bound to blow it's literally a ticking time bomb and like i said it's helping him and hurting him but i feel like he's definitely gonna put his foot on the gas especially with this upcoming album trump loy i think that's what it's called i don't really know what it's called to be honest i hope i said it right but at least from the two lead singles we've seen born to be great amazing i've literally listened to that song literally every day since it's dropped i'm not even lying to y'all it's probably a daily routine at this point and then he dropped a grail snippet being too foul prod by richie south and that was a grail community snippet and both of them have just been amazing the evolution from the album you can see it just in those two lead singles alone so i'm definitely excited to see what japan does in the future i feel like he is going to put his foot on the gas you know get out of his shell and really start to create the world of until japan because if he does that the music's there already but once you create that whole world fit pics aesthetic etc he's bound to blow it's literally a ticking time bomb but i just wanted to make this quick video on until japan because I just think he's too goaded. He's my number one pick. He makes amazing music. I've been sharing his music to a lot of people because like, bro, these dudes in the underground should not be blowing up. Some people, I'm not gonna say names, should not be as big as they are today, right? I think great quality will always win at the end of the day. Real music always wins and it's gonna be Japan's time soon, right? But like I said, I've been sprinkling his music around to different people, playing it for different other people, and everybody's been saying the same thing. This dude has such a great sound. It sounds so polished, and for him being so small within his career, it's really crazy to see. And that is gonna be the end of the video right there. If y'all couldn't tell, I truly, really do believe in Until Japan. I will put my money on him that he is going to be the biggest artist to come up out of this new underground. If y'all wanna see me in the comments, we can argue about it. We can go to war in the comments over who y'all think is gonna be the number one rapper. But I'm standing on business. I'm telling y'all right now, Until Japan is the one. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's Money May or is it? And I'm out. Thank you guys.